and we're back at it again. This time in Las Vegas with Cybertruck and Dark Helmet. We're gonna go to the racetrack, Tesla Corsa, have a good time, hopefully set a record, but it's time to go to bed tonight and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, here we are, day one, Tesla Corsa at Vegas Motor Speedway. We have Dark Helmet, and I'm gonna try to rip around and create another track record. No more around. Let's do this. All right, so we just did our first lap out here. I only have very few laps with this guy. This is a full time tech car, right? I feel pretty good about it. We've kind of pushed through some turns. We're gonna make some changes on the car, but I turned to 149. And I think that that is pretty impressive to even do a sub two here for your first lap. It's taken me about two, three weeks to get to this point. Meditation, sim driving, all these things. So certainly wasn't luck of the draw. There was a lot of work into it and I'm so excited. Moving forward, it was epic. Let's go. I know that was a little faster than what I pulled the first session. Feels good. Feels good. Feels quick. Uh, still a little bit of um, understeer tracking out, but uh, you know, not too bad on a set of tires that we've been using for a couple track events. We're going to skip the third session and go straight to the fourth session. The reason why is so that we can get a full charge in the car and keep all the thermals at bay. So there's something I wanna explain about Vegas Speedway. They don't have any charging here on site. And so it makes it very difficult for us to charge between sessions, right? And so, but you can see we have charging directly from Cybertruck. So this gives us a whole new opportunity to explore new tracks, and I'm really excited about this. 1450 plug, straight from a home charger, right in a dark helmet. Whew. Hey, that's not yours, Craig. Hey, I found a cyber beast and it's open. <laughs> Let's give it a go, huh? Let's do this. All right, you ready to go? So what I'm gonna do here is feel out the car on this uh, little warm-up lap. All right. Feel the body roll. Yep. Feel the acceleration. Yep. We're also gonna warm up the tires. Nice. Feel the brakes a little bit. Yep. Get on. Uh, get on a little bit of uh, the curving. <laughs> feel it out. Oh. Whoa. Oh, this one does have a little more power. Let's kick it. Let's go. Oh. So I just saw my left away. I don't care what happened. This is worth it. Oh no! <laughs> Tires are still good, the car is still happy. Alright. Ah! Oh. oh, I'm tough! Oh! Just tied the face, literally! <laughs> I think it's one of the most amazing things. We've been at Buttonwillow for like over 30 Tesla courses. 
and you know it's an amazing time every time but it's always cool to go to a new track because this place is awesome the fact that you get to go to vegas after the track is yeah it's a pretty good time all right we're wrapping up for day one at vegas motor speedway in the outer track and it's been an incredible day i got three hot laps in with dark helmet and I also got my first time with Cyber Beast on the track, which was really cool. Tomorrow we got day two. We've tuned the car to where I feel it's gonna be the fastest. I've learned my lines. Now I turn it into this. There we go, just like that. We put new slicks on there and I'm really excited about it all. Overall, the day with Tessa Corsa here for the first time has also been great. The whole community is supportive. I believe we're on the forefront of creating a community that is not on a lot of tracks yet. So this is really cool for Tesla Corsa. Great experience for me. Awesome for Dark Helmet to be here for the first time. And we'll see you tomorrow, day two. Woo! Good morning, good morning. This is day two of the track, and uh, it's a little chilly. I didn't think that uh, it would be this way in Vegas, but apparently that happens. We have Dark Helmet being prepped. It's on new slicks and tire warmers, and we got a little trickle charge going in there too. So everything's getting primed. I'm excited. My mindset ready to go, and hopefully we get an overall record. So let's do this. All right, here we go, providing you a little commentary on this hot lap. Coming off the front straight, looking for that brake zone, and I hit it well, looking for the apex on the right-hand side. Nailed it, exiting the turn, and going to the second turn. Late apex here, and tracking out. Everything is great on the car. I'm giving it my all full throttle at this point. We're going 110, 120, hard braking, right hand turn into the left hand turn, and staying on the inside with a mid exit, stay on the left side and prepare for the right hand turn. We have a apex with a little loose gravel, but the car ran over it perfectly fine. Everything is good. Now I'm all in 110%, 120, 130, here we go, slight lift on this right-hand turn, but setting myself up for the next sections. I see the left apex and nail it. And then we have a little bit of a violent threading here through this turn, but everything's good. Now we have another late apex and exiting the turn with a small, straight, slight lift here on the right-hand side. Car is doing wonderful, suspension doing its thing, tires doing its thing, brakes are great. Staying on the right hand side, entering mid track, and then diving into late apex, staying on the left hand side, and then back to the right turn, and we're off to the front straight. Everything was great so far, but I know we can improve on the next time. Well, as you saw, everything was going great until it wasn't. Last session, 
after turn two. Unfortunately, we broke a lower control arm that sheared off a bolt and blew a tire. And this car has done thousands of high G-force scenarios in cornering and braking and compression. We put a lot of stress on this car and there is a probability that components will break. In my eyes, there's no pointing fingers here because we push this car beyond its limits and we take the risks. Thing is, is my problems aren't your problems. And this is why we go out there to develop and improve upon the components that we are working on. So uh, at the end of the day, still very positive. We set an EV record, uh, not the all time record, but we will be back for that. I guarantee it. For now, I've got a dinner out here in Las Vegas with my name on it. I'm gonna send that one. Till next time. Hey guys, if you like what you saw, like it and subscribe. Have a good one.